Hey guys, it's Deciders and I'm back again with another YouTube video. So here are some life updates um, along my CIA journey. For those of you who don't know me, I my name is Daisy. I realize that a lot of you don't know my name. So my name is Daisy and I take you with me throughout my journey on culinary school. Um, I go to the Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York. I am currently on my third semester and if you're not aware of this, on your third semester, you do your externship. So I know a lot of places call them internships, but for culinary students, you call it an externship. And what you do on your externship is you go to a restaurant, a hotel or resort, and you work there for the summer. Um, yeah, I'm in New York City. I absolutely love, love, love my externship. I'm so grateful for it. I, I love it. I don't know, I started two days ago. Um, I have a couple of friends scattered throughout the country and a couple who are out of the country. And um, for those of you who aren't aware of how your externship works, your first semester, if you get here in the fall, you're gonna have your first career fair. I would suggest that you take that very seriously. Um, when I mean very seriously, I mean do your research on if you wanna go one of three routes, your restaurant route, hotel route, resort uh, or resort route. Um, you can also go to like a huge company like uh, Nestle or Kraft and, and work at a lab. Um, so there's a couple of different uh, options that you can go. I was a complete novice when I moved to CIA and I had no idea if I wanted to be in a restaurant or hotel or resort. I had no idea what I was doing at all. So I did not take my first career fair very seriously in hopes to go to the second one in spring and have like a better idea. But what they don't tell you about CIA is the career fair that they do in spring is the best, in my opinion, because they have all the fancy restaurants. They have Jean Georges, they've got, um, you know, Alenia, EMP, Daniel Ballou, they've got all these amazing restaurants. And then the career fair that they have in spring is, it's just mostly golf clubs and resorts and not that that's not a good way to go um, to whatever floats your own boat but I would have liked to probably market myself better towards you know the Michelin restaurants and that's just the way that I wanted to go so any way that you go there's no wrong decision there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind uh, most likely hotels and resorts and golf clubs and even some of like the big companies like Nestle or Kraft or Hershey, they will usually pay for housing. They usually pay for housing. Um, and by pay for housing, you'll either be making enough to cover your housing, like a couple hundred dollars a month, or um, they'll like take it from your pay, but they usually have lots of housing deals. All of the Michelin restaurants um, that I listed and those that are not listed, they will usually not pay for housing. Um, you'll have to find that and secure that on their on your own. If you do have a dream of going to a Michelin restaurant, um, like I'm in New York City, I am at a Michelin restaurant in New York City. Um, if you do have that dream, there are a couple of options. Obviously, um, externship is out of your own pocket if you're not aware. So start saving now, alert your parents that in your third semester, you're gonna have to you know, pay for this. And by pay, I mean pay for housing if you are at a Michelin restaurant. Or by pay, I mean by pay for your plane ticket to go wherever you need to go. By pay, I mean like you are um, paying to get where you need to go. It has nothing really to do with the school. Um, are externships paid? Mine is. Um, a lot of externship sites do pay. I would say most of them pay. Even, I have two friends at Alinea right now. They are, obviously Alinea is like one of the best restaurants in the world, you know, three Michelin stars in Chicago. And they're getting paid pretty well, actually, a little bit better than me. Um, yeah, so there are restaurants, EMP pays, Blue Hill pays, a, a lot of restaurants, they do pay. Um, obviously, we all know Thomas Keller's rep, represent, uh, rep, eh. we all know Com Thomas Keller's reputation and per se in the French Laundry, um, they don't pay externs. So um, if you have a question about getting paid during externship, I would say almost 95% of externships pay. Like I don't really know very many besides Thomas Keller. I'm not, don't quote me on this, but I think Oscar, I think they might not pay. I'm not sure, I'm not sure about that, but um, yeah, most of them do pay. Most of them do pay. Um, let's see, I've got a couple notes down here and my hair is doing something right now. Um, 
yeah so most of them do pay if you guys have any extra chip questions go ahead and leave some comments i think i've kind of answered everything you know you go you work for three months as far as as far as school you'll only have to do one paper and you're essentially saying what your externship is and what you did along your externship also all externships are different i am at a restaurant so that's going to be a lot different i'm at a small restaurant also so that's going to be a lot different than working in a hotel or working banquet style um, i'm a culinary student so for bakers i don't really have too much um, advice for you guys but i do know it works the exact same on your third semester you go on externship i have about five or six baker uh, friends and you know one of them is at the ritz carlton in, in orlando one of them went to i think greenbrier um you're doing the exact same thing um i know a lot of people ask about food network unfortunately to my knowledge in 2022 of april i do not really know too many culinary externs that go to food network i do know like food writing if that's what you're into if you want to work for magazines or anything like that. I did see a lot of intern, extern, well, they call it internships. I did see a lot of internships that Food Network provides for uh, like food writing or food photography or food assistant, um, those type of deals. I didn't really see anything for cooking, um, but that makes sense, right? You know, anyone who's cooking at the Food Network, they're like a big, you know, celebrity, they're a big name. You know, you don't really see a lot of, I hate to say nobodies, but a lot of you know average people on television you know so um yeah a lot of those people have already made a name for themselves so for, as far as food network um i would love to work for food network but i haven't i didn't really see anything that would allow me to like cook and get better and improve my skill as far as um an externship so um yes if you are uh, so you're going to be doing summer for, you know, three months. You can do externship any semester. It's just more common to do it your third semester. So you get here in fall, you go to go through fall, then you go through spring, and then that summer you do your externship. So that's just, you know, the average. So um, let's talk about housing. Um, like I said, resorts and hotels, they'll usually pay. But if you are in a situation like I am where uh, you have to you know, pay for housing yourself or find housing, one of the best options you can do is Airbnb monthly stays. You don't have to usually pay the whole like three months because obviously it's a ridiculous amount of money. You can ask your um, landlord, Airbnb host, if you can, um, if you can pay month to month. So it's not like, you know, you're paying like $6,000 or however much your Airbnb is. So yeah, you can ask if you can pay month to month like I did. Um, I'm not living out of someone's house. I found a rental unit where um, every room is airbnb kind of, or a lot of the rooms are. So, uh, so yeah, that is an option. Um, obviously there's no water bill, there's no rent, there's no lease that you have to sign. You can just move right in and everything is furnished. So that is uh, an option for you if you are concerned about, um, I think they call it guarantors here or all that stuff that comes with like, renting a, an apartment when you are in your first year of college. So that is what I have to say about that. Um, for me, I picked New York City because it is the culinary capital of the world and I've always had dreams of moving here. Um, you know, I grew up watching Gossip Girl and Friends, and I will say this, New York City is everything that I thought it would be and more. I absolutely love it here. Uh, my externship, I work about an 11 to 12 hour day. This is for culinary. Um, yeah, I do work about 11 to 12 hour day. I go in around 12 to one to two, usually like 12 to one, and then I get out at 11 or 12. So that's pretty standard in the industry. My friends at Alenia, I was asking them some questions uh, yesterday and they're about in the same boat. They go in around 7 a.m. and they get out at 6.15 or 6.30 at night. So um, working an 11 or 12 hour day, that's standard in this industry. Um, that's just, you know, it is what it is. I'll ask my baker friends uh, some questions and, you know, get back to you guys so I can have some content and some context about um, the baking side, but for the culinary side, that, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so that's about it. Um, that's my update. I live in New York City. I absolutely love it. I love it here, you guys. The food scene is amazing. Everything about the city is amazing. It has inspired me to work hard and to 
just be about my grind be about my hustle it is super expensive here um oh another option really quickly i will say um about your externship if you're concerned about money which a lot of students are um you can if you're taking out loans you can take out a bigger loan your first semester this is what i did like an extra like two or three thousand dollars to help cover you for summer so i took out an extra like two or three thousand dollars and saved that and just like didn't touch it just put it in my savings account and then when summer came around it helped me like with rent and then just like moving in and just like all the little stuff that you need so that's another thing that you can do um if you are taking out loans um but yeah i absolutely love it i love my externship i have a really small team i'm working directly under my head chef and my sous chef and I don't know, I, I love it. My first day, um, my second day, which was yesterday, they let me plate, which I was, oh my God, I was about to, I was having like literally a mental heart attack. I was just like, my heart was like, da, 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 and I fucked up, I'll be completely honest. Um, I fucked up and my chef had to like take over for me. And I thought that that was gonna be it. And then like maybe 20 minutes later, he was like, Daisy, he's very, very, very French. Daisy, you, you do that tuna. I don't know, that was my French accent that was terrible. But um, he was like, do, you know, tuna for two. And I was like, oh, so, you know, I got the little fork and I'm doing all the things. And regardless to say it was amazing and I absolutely 100% love it. Um, but just remember as an extern, you do a lot of um, prep work. You do a lot of like the grunt work, um, or at least I am. I've talked to a couple other friends they are kind of like in the same boat, but you know, but I don't know. I, I like it. I, I like every single time, you know, I'm like peeling a million ramps, you know, I've got this pound of, you know, things for the entire restaurant. I'm just like, you know, doing this like repetitive task. I just remember like why I'm here and what I want to do and who I want to be. And I just try and get in back into like the gratefulness mode of like why I'm here and like why I'm doing this and just like the excitement I feel to be in the kitchen. And I will say this, like my first day I brunoid a shit ton of kiwi and pineapple and dragon fruit, like so much. And I was like, oh my God, you know, I was like, oh, you know, your mind's going crazy, you know? And, and it was, it was really, it was honestly really hard just cause like my kitchen, because everyone is French. I work in a French restaurant, I, almost everyone is French. Um, it's kind of silent. Well, they, they talk in French, but like, there's not a lot of like English people speak, people speaking in English and their accents are so thick that I can't understand them. Sometimes they'll like go from French to English and it sounds the same to me because their accents are so thick. So I'm very quiet in my, uh, my current kitchen. There's only one other guy who's like a native American speaker, um, English as his first language. And, um, so yeah, it's just like really quiet. So when you're doing a, a repetitive task, um, every day, or for a long period of time, it can just get, you know, it can get kind of hard. But uh, I'll say this, the gratifying moment was when I saw my, my brunoise on the dessert dish, you know, like I saw it and I just, I could almost like cry right now because when I saw it in the plate and like how it was, I was like, that's my fucking brunoise, you know? Like, I was like, that's my shit. And like when you see your hard work on a plate, it just feels good, it feels good. It makes everything worth, uh, makes everything worth it. So, that's all I have to say about my externship. I'll go over a couple of questions that I've seen in the comments. My first question that I had was, how hard is it to get in? It's impossibly easy, okay? It's it's the easiest thing in the world. We have like a 98% acceptance rate at CIA. Um, the hardest part comes when you uh, get there. Um, we have a really high dropout rate. Almost over half of the students who enroll drop out within their first semester, within the first couple of weeks. And I think that's because people go into the school and they expect it to be like a cooking show, you know what I mean? And it's just like a fun little cooking class and you're just like cutting some carrots and you're learning all these things. But no, when you get here, especially for a lot of students right out of high school, it is very, very intense and you're not just you know, cooking, you are, it's mentally exhausting, it's physically exhausting, you're in class for eight hours, it is um, socially draining, you know, you're, you're hitting all three areas, that, that's really difficult for a lot of people, um, especially people that come straight out of high school, I didn't come straight out of high school, but um, it, it can be very difficult, you know, so you're, you're doing a lot, you know, in class, I think I've uh, spoke about this before, in class, if you start burning something, everybody knows. It's not like, um, it's not like 
a regular college where you could go and secretly get a, a bad grade and tell everyone you got a B when you really got like a C, you know what I mean? Like if you are mentally going down in the kitchen, it shows on the plate of food, people can smell it, like they can see it, you know? So it's really hard, it's very transparent. It's a very transparent industry. And then you're also bal balancing all these like social ventures of, you know, working with a, a group of people, you're working in a kitchen, you know what I mean? You're cleaning together, you're cooking together. So all these things just like kind of come together and it's a lot more difficult than I think a lot of people realize. So is it hard to get in? No, but will you stay here? That's up to you. Um, can you find a job? I find this question, um, I get this question a lot about jobs, finding a job on campus. On campus, I've spoke about this before, but I'll say it again. Um, on campus jobs, they have like a little weird pay situation that they've got going on. Um, they will pay you like two or $3,000 for the semester or they'll take off to, uh, tuition. Um, that's kind of how it goes. Oh man, this video is going to be a little long. But um, so yeah, uh, finding a job off campus. I do have a job off campus. I work as a front of house server um, at a, you know, restaurant. But yeah, there's there's plenty of jobs. If you have a car, it's going to be a lot easier. If you have some hustle and some grind, take the bus and or take an Uber and do what you got to do. I have friends who work at Home Depot. I have friends who work at Starbucks. You know, finding a job that just comes out to your hustle and ground, grind and how bad you want it. So are there jobs? There's jobs everywhere. Do you want one bad enough to do what you have to do? Take a bike? Like, that's up to you. Uh, how many semesters in the year? Normal college, three, fall. Oh, I just flipped off the camera. Fall, <laughs> summer, and spring. Um, is it worth it? Okay, this is probably the second most, you know, question that I get. And I get this from a lot of people who are concerned about money. They're like, oh my God, the school is so expensive. Um, is it worth it? Honestly, I mean, I have student loans, so if you're speaking from that perspective because you're thinking about taking out student loans, I feel like I get a lot of these, this question for people who don't have you know money or financial help from their parents. So I would say for me, yes, 100%. I am in this kitchen, I'm at a Michelin restaurant, and I have, you know, I've staged at EMP, I've staged at Blue Hill, and I've been offered, uh, you know, externships from you know all these you know different places and I will say I, I go into the kitchen I'm calm I'm clean um, they asked me to burn wall I know the di dimensions of that they asked me to batine I know the dimensions of that they asked me to sweat something I know how to do that they I, at CIA they've taught me an abundant of skills to where in my third semester I'm going into my externship confidently with some knowledge you know what I mean so I think that's really important uh, especially if you're you know thinking about a career in this business so I think that it's all 100% worth it and I have learned so much and I feel like I've grown a lot as a person and as a chef so yeah that's it um I'm gonna end this video here because it's so long um but yeah so if you guys have any questions put them in the comments I'll upload another Q&A video and do that uh, my Instagram is at deciders just like my name um, I also have a food account it's called food by Daisy um, you guys are more than welcome to follow that account but yeah go ahead and subscribe like comment show your girl some love and I'll see you guys in the next video oh one more thing one more thing if you guys want to see anything New York related while I'm here let me know let me know because I'm in in my opinion one of the best cities in the world and I absolutely love it here. So if you guys wanna see any New York City content, uh, let me know in the comments. Bye.